I am going to play the best Clash Royale deck for every card evolution, and I'll keep playing each of these decks as long as I can until we lose a game. So which evolution will give me the longest win streak? Let's find out with the Firecracker first. Heading over to Royale API to find the highest rated evolved Firecracker deck. And it looks like we have a 2.9 Hog Firecracker cycle. This deck looks pretty good, but how many wins can we actually get? Does he go for the King activation? Does he fail? He spent a ton of elixir earlier on. Can we go Goblins to pressure? Goblins, destroy the E-Wizard, please. Get in there. Yo, even this app. Oh, that's enough. Come on. But look at that Hog Rider damage. Yo, that tower right lane is gone, and so is that golem. Once the Mighty Miner meets the golem, it is GG for us, because honestly, even with the Electro Wizard in his deck, with the power of the Firecracker Evolution, we should easily be able to destroy it and keep our Mighty Miner alive. Goblin's here for the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Save the health on our Mighty Miner. He does drop a Poison Spell, which will destroy the Firecracker, which is slightly unfortunate, because an E-Wizard is coming down here momentarily. Where is the Electro Wizard? No E-Wizard! His golem is dead! This is absolute domination. This deck is too powerful. Goblin's here for the mini P.E.K.K.A. He's got no way breaking through. The poison is too slow for a golem strategy. And now we have one more hog rider going in and a log to finish the tower off. And we are up one win so far with the Farcucker Evolution. Let's go a fast hog rider here right side to capitalize on his low elixir. He responds to that with a mini P.E.K.K.A. here a bit late. So we get two hog shots to that tower because of the low elixir punish. Just defend this here with some goblins. Take care of that mini P.E.K.K.A. Come on, goblins, go! One stab! Two stabs, please, my friend! Yo, you just destroyed the tower? Yo, those card boosts are broken, bro! Yo, if we go goblins here, it should destroy the uh, P.E.K.K.A. Despite there being a Zap spell in his strategy. Oh. Uh, I guess just Log Spell here, and then a Hog Rider pull it back, please. Come on, P.E.K.K.A. No! P.E.K.K.A. Get back here! No! P.E.K.K.A. You destroyed me! That's okay, because the Hog Rider goes in, and that should be a dead tower, even with the Dark Prince. Oh my goodness, the Hog Rider. Can you imagine if they eventually release an evolved Hog Rider? How insane would that card be? So let's not talk about the Hog Rider evolution. I don't want to give Clash Royale any ideas. But after that battle, we then went on for three more victories, bringing our win streak up to six battles total. But then we had the closest battle so far. Hog Rider goes in. Earthquake down something. We Earthquake the Valkyrie down. It's not really a good value, but it gets us something right now. We need one more hog shot here. Lock spell, please. Come on, come on, come on. Valkyrie hits the tower, yes. We will lose our tower at some point in this battle, but that's okay. Actually, we won't. Come on. Woo -wee. Let's go. Can we survive right now? Yes, sir. Ice Spirit, plus an earthquake here on the left side. Ice Spirit, plus an earthquake. Is that to finish the tower off? No! Yes! Oh my goodness, that was so close. Why did he get Lightning Spell on his deck? I don't even know. Woo! You're gonna go Valkyrie here? Oh, don't go into the don't go into the Valkyrie firecracker. Don't shoot yourself into the Valkyrie, you noob. That's okay though. We can still survive. We destroy the Hog Rider. We destroy the Hog Rider. Yes, sir. A mighty miner here should finish the Hog off. Oh, that's a spicy, spicy firecracker, Laka. It's gonna hurt. Log plus Earthquake should finish her off though, eh? Oh, he got so much damage done with that firecracker, dude. I I, I wasn't paying attention, dude. Oh no, his firecracker placements are immaculate. Let's go. Hog Rider here. Goblins for the uh, Infernal Tower. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This might work. No, he airs it all down. But we keep that Firecracker alive. She's still going. We destroy his Firecracker with one more Hog Rider here. And we go Bomb Tower up on the business, please. No, the lightning spell, I forgot. ASM. Well played, buddy. So six wins for the Firecracker Evolution. Let's move on to the Evolved Barbarians. And that looks like we have a 4.1 Elixir Lava Loon deck. Can this deck beat the six wins from the Firecracker Evolution? Step one, we go Lava Hound here in the corner, and then we build up a massive push and get ourselves ready for step two, where we unleash the Evolved Barbarians. And even though he has the Infernal Dragon, there's no way he stops both sides of the arena at the exact same time. He goes out for the Skeleton Army here. Come on, come on, Barbarians. Get in there, please, boys. We can fight back the Mother Witch here to prevent some pig action. And then uh, the Elite Ulu Barbarian left side. The one barb going ham! Destroying that tower! Team's on up high. We get some more barbarians down here in a second. Should be sufficient for this destruction. That tower left lane's going down to the balloon. And now all we need to do is be creative with our defense versus a potential prince push here. 
We should have this in the bag. Can we hold on for our first win with the Barbarian Evolution? Make it in here, left land for the Infernal Dragon. I don't see a Prince coming down. I don't see a Prince coming down. Oh, we're in the clear with the first victory for the Barbarian Evolution. Come on, Barbarians. All we need is one big juicy push. That's all we need. One massive juicy push is all we need to win the game. Come on, Skelly Dragons, please. Destroy. Yes, sir. All right. Um, we can do this. I've trained my entire life for this moment. We can do it, my friends. I am a trained professional. Put that down, please. Wait for it. Barbarian's here. Tombstone up high. Blocks the Hog Rider. He can't defend everything now. If I go one more lap out here, what happens? Can we overwhelm and win? The loud ones get some damage done. Fireball going down, but the puppies are still alive. Can we break through and dominate? Come on, Lava Hound. Okay, all we need to do is buy some time. Zap, come on, Lava Hound, come on, Lava Hound. One more shot, one more shot, please. One more shot, my friend. Yes! Yo, the hug was so close to hitting. Let's go. What? No, Clash Royale, no. What? Why? It started moving to the to, to the tombstone. It was like one. It was half a tile away. Clash Royale, come on, come on, dude. You can't do that. It's my fault. It's my fault. But come on, Clash Royale. He says GG and thanks. We're gonna sacrifice the tower right lane. I'm ignoring it. I'm gonna keep the Archer Queen alive. So he's got less uh, air defense. And we're gonna try and go in with uh, Balloon left side, maybe. I'm gonna go Barb's right lane for some split lane pressure. We're gonna fireball back the uh, princess here. Boom, let's go. And then we're gonna go Balloon here, left side. Barbarian's right lane. Balloon, Lava Helm pressure, left side. Skeleton Dragon's in the middle. Can we break through Clash Real? Please say, don't say Archer Queen. Oh, he's got Nail too? Why, Clash, the Balloon just got dominated, dude. Yo, oh my goodness, how did he defend that so easily? Well, uh, two wins for the Barbarians. <laughs> okay. So two wins for the Barbarian Evolution. Let's move on to the Evolved Royal Giant. And for the best Evolved Royal Giant deck, we have a 3.1 elixir, RG Fisherman. If I go a RG right side with a bar build for the Tessa Tower, that's too far away, my friend. I don't know what you're expecting with that. I don't know what you're expecting. The RG knocks the Valkyrie away. We can Fisherman it away further. Yoink, see ya Valkyrie. And the RG goes to town on that tower. All because of the missed Tesla drop. Honestly, probably would have gotten nearly, not even half that damage if it wasn't for that Tesla being missed. Probably here for the piggies. Ghost finishes them off. We can go East Spirit for the minions. And that is game, my friend. One win in the win column. Can we beat two for the Barbarians? And can we beat six for the Firecracker? If I go a high fish boy, it should yoink that golem to the opposite side here. We East Spirit the bats down. Goes for the miner here. And then we go Barbell for this bomber. That's a solid defense there. We dissect that push. We pull away the golem. Then we can yoink the musketeer closer in. It should pull the musketeer. Yes, it does. Let's go. We negate the damage of the musketeer. Then we go in with the evolved royal giant. Fireball for the bomber here. And that should be a destroyed tower. Come on, evolved RG. Too much made on my friend. Nice. Let's go. Push boy for the P.E.K.K.A. Oh, I see what you're doing, my friend. You know I got the fisherman in there, so you can't rely on the P.E.K.K.A. I respect that, but your tower gets destroyed regardless, my friend. RG's on tower. We haven't even used the evolution. <laughs> the tower goes down. That was absolute domination. Our towers are basically flawless. Can we get the three crown victory? Where's your P.E.K.K.A.? There it is. But see, watch this. We yoink it away. The goblins distract. That's why he didn't go P.E.K.K.A. earlier on, because he knew we had Fisherman in hand. We don't have enough time for the three crown victory, but that would have been if we had 13 more seconds. So three solid victories off to a great start with the Evolved Royal Giant. And with three more wins, we had a chance to break the Firecracker streak up a tower in game number seven. But even I couldn't have predicted what would happen next. Fisherman here for the King activation, please, my dude. Let's go Megan in front of that. He opts not to. Oh, that's a bad goblin drop by me. We need that goblins for the we need that drops for the prince. Oh, I missed up. I messed up big time. I dropped my goblins out of rotation. I need them for the prince. But can we still survive here? We yoink the Megan out away. The goblins destroy the prince. Okay, that was that was close. That was close. That easily could have lost us the game. And it might still. That ban is on tower. We have to go in with the Man, I got nothing for this stupid princey boy here. Nice prediction arrows for my uh, potential goblin draw. But I think if I go RG right here. He's low on options. 
He can go Mega Knight, but it just turns around to my RG. And honestly, uh, that's just buys enough time. Even if it doesn't destroy his tower, it just buys enough time for, for us to finish this game off. Yes, sir. Oops, that was not to be a fireball. Um, <laughs> imagine we lose now because of that. <laughs> oh, GG's. Well played, buddy. That was a close one. I like that one. That was a good battle. And a new arena, too. And with that win, the RG takes the lead with a seven-game win streak, but we needed to keep going. I know he has... Let's just go for it. I don't care. He's built for some sort of Skarmy here. Oh, 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 he's got a Mega Knight. I thought he had Skeleton Army. I thought he was running a clone deck. Oh, this is going to be bad. I mean, it might be fine. If we can get Bar Build back the... Uh... First of all, we're going to go go off after it jumps. Then we go Bar Build for the Skeletons. The Musketeer locks on. Oh, the arrows. No. How does the Musketeer lock on? Mega Knight, stop. How is the Musketeer still on there? Dude. The Musketeer didn't target out my goblins. The East Bird didn't target it. She just went in there with a mission and destroyed our tower. Oh, he's just playing pure defense mode. There's no way we break through. He's going on pure defense mode. Oh, I can't do anything here. Unless we can pull this away with a Fisherman. Get the Meganite away. We, we got to go RG right now. But he keeps blocking the lane. Oh, okay. Last chance here. RG the bridge. This is our only hope. It's not going to work, but it's our only chance to break that tower. Oh, he's at the mini pack though. Oh, that was a good game. Well played, my friend. So seven wins total for the Evolved Royal Giant. Let's take a look at the Skeleton Evolution next. Minor Balloon left side. Bar built for the Bomb Tower. He just wasted his Musketeer, so we might be able to punish now. We may be able to punish with this uh, Balloon. Our bomb Tower here for the uh, Royal Giant. Musketeer off to the side. He does Fireball back, so he can't go Fireball on offense. He's got Fireball and Arrows, though. Too many spells. Too much spam. No, RG, don't do it, please. Ooh, that thing's so spicy. The amount of damage that thing deals is insane, dude. We can go one more of these left side. Bar build for these goblins here right lane so it doesn't hit my tower. Snowball this back as well. Please, Shane. There we go. And I want to go... Okay, the blue's going to get some damage done. If I can go minor skeletons here right side, he has to go in with the ice spear for these skeletons, right? He has to go spear for the skeletons. He has to go spear for the skeletons. He has to go fireball. Oh, they infinitely spawn, but they force out a fireball. That is a ton of value that we definitely enjoy. Minor balloon going in. Uh, minor for the tower. Even if he defends the balloon, all I'm really trying to do is get some chip damage done with my miner. So that is definitely okay by me. He still has a substantial damage lead, though. We force out a one of those. Yes, sir. Miner in the back again. Bomb tower for his royal giant. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. Now we're winning those trades. Now we're getting that damage done. This is what we need to win this, win this game right here. He's going to go bomb tower in the middle. We pull it back. We're going to go minor and tower here. The musketeer still survives. We can still pull back of the way the goblins. There's no way he defends that. There's no way he defends that. The balloon goes in. The balloon goes in. There we go, baby. One shot with the balloon. Minor trips away. We're not in the clear quite yet, but we do have one more minor. Oh, the RG. No. Come on. Come on, Shane. Don't die now. Don't die now, my friend. Come on. 300 HP. 300 HP. Oh, 383 versus 367. We win by tiebreaker. Let's go. Oh, it's got an RG evolution. Let's go minor here right side with the balloon. I don't even care if he's got Phoenix. Actually, I do care if he's got Phoenix because he's going to destroy my balloon. But he's got a firecracker. RG firecracker evolution. Interesting. How many damage does that balloon do? How much damage does this deal? One shot. It might be three if we're lucky. Oh, uh, maybe three? Oh, uh, that's... Come on, Clash Roy. That was so close to three shots. I come over here for the Firecracker for the King to Activation. Oh, that's juicy defense. Let's go. Oh, we've got another one. Yo, what? How does he have another RG already? Yo, there's no way. His cycle is insane, dude. His cycle is literally insane. If I go in Balloon and a, a Moiner right side. Oh, let's do it. I don't even care that this, uh, the Firecracker is there because I'm going to go Miner here. It should target the Firecracker, please. It should target it, right? Can we still one time? Can we still one time, please? Please say yes. Yes, sir. Come on, Balloon. Come on, Balloon. One shot is all I need. Oh, so close. There's another RG left side with that fast cycle. I don't know if we can even defend it. Oh, man. We got to use our super cycle mode and go Bomb Tower, Bomb Tower. Bomb Tower. Going down. Musketeer left lane. I don't know how to use the Bomb Tower further away from the river so the Musketeer can't target it. Okay, nice, nice lightning spell there. I don't like it, but I'll take it. And oh, that hurts. He's back to another. He's back to another RG. <laughs> he's back to another RG. The evolver. Ah, dude, your deck's insane. 
Calm down there, my friend. Seriously. Chill, bro. You're cheating. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go. Go, 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 go. Just for the ERG, please. Oh. Okay, that's it. We're going in. I don't even care anymore, my friends. Skeleton evolution right side with the miner. What does he have for his skeletons? A bar barrel, but now he can't respond to the balloon. The balloon might sneak through. We knock it back. Oh, he's got a bomb timer too. No way. Oh, dude. So close. No venom. How could you do this to me, my friend? Oh, bro. Yeah, we can't even do anything because he's going to go lane spell for that, right? Oh, Venom. Good game. That was a tough one. It's so hard to get value with your skeletons because they die so fast and they require three full cycles, which feels impossible sometimes. So one win for the Evolved Skeletons. That leads our final evolution, the newest card in Clash Royale, the Evolved Mortar. And for the Mortar Evolution, we have a 3.0 Hog Rider Mortar Cycle. So Mortar Evolution, let's see what you can do. Oh, he's got the RG Evolution. Mighty Miner right lane. Let's get our Mortar ready to go for this Royal Giant and hope for the best. The RG is a pretty solid counter for the Mortar. Once the RG goes down, he should be somewhat low on Electro right here. Nice Electro Wizard there, but do we get any Goblins in there? Oh, come on, you Wizard, get in the Lock Spell, please. Walk into the Lock Spell, just so we can hit you. Yes, sir. The Mortar Lock's on. How much damage can it do? I'm guessing three shots, maybe two if the RG goes down. Can we get one more shot, Mortar, please? One more, please? Yo, let's go. Thanks, buddy. So, his E was at that rotation right now, which means the Mighty Miner can destroy... Uh, never mind. Um, I mean, it did do some good damage, but so will that RG. Oh, man. And that extra one on top is the icing and the cake. Let's go Hog Rider here. Come on, baby. He wasted his arrows. We can easily overwhelm right now with the power of the Mighty Miner, the Mortar, and the Hog Rider. We have one more Hog going down. This isn't even a Mortar deck anymore. It's just Hog Cycle. And we knock it back. The Musketeer finishes it off. And we destroy the skeletons with one more mortar going down. Don't even need it. It's just there. It's just doing its part. Wait. He doesn't have the RG evolution. I've been saying the entire time that he had RG evolution. He doesn't. It's just a non-evolved regular version. Why did I think it was evolved? Wait for the Earthquake to go down. Then we go Goblins afterwards. Then we go Hog Rider here. With a Log Spell for his Goblins. Because he doesn't have the Infernal Black in rotation yet. Surprise. Oh, he's got a Monkalicious. I mean, we get... Oh, look, the Monk pushes the Hog Rider away from itself and allows the Goblins to sneak in and tank for the Hog Rider. Ice Spirit are here. Uh, let's go Log Spell for this. Goblins for the Hog Rider, please. And they must continue for the Firecracker. Yes, sir. Mortar Evolution going down. Now is a chance to break through. We have the Mortar Evolution going up. He does not have the Infernal Tower in hand. So the Mortar should lock onto that tower pretty easily. Come on, we lock it back. The Mortar's locked on. And look how much damage these Goblins do because the Hog Rider's tanking. There's no way he can deny the Goblin damage because they, they lock on almost instantaneously. He's got the uh, aggressive cycle. He's got the, he's got the stuff he needs, man. He's got the stuff he needs, dude. Come on, tank it, please. Yes, sir. Come on, Hogwarts, one more shot, please. Oh, baby. Can we go Earthquake here? Can we go Earthquake here? Saved by the Mortar Evolution. Let's go. I thought I was so dead. Oh, my goodness. That was so close. So two victories puts us ahead of the Skeleton Evolution, and with one more fast win, we also beat out the Evolved Barbarians, but I was not prepared for what was about to happen in game number four. Where's your oh, Firecracker? There it is. There's the Firecracker Evolution. Let's Earthquake it down. Mighty Miner ability to opposite lane here. Just to do nothing. Yes, I like when I do nothing. That's amazing chain. Thank you, my friend. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we finished her off. We're fine. I'm surprised he hasn't busted out the P.E.K.K.A. yet. Seems like a no-brainer to go P.E.K.K.A. Oh! We didn't, he didn't lock on. We're good. Okay, we're going to go Mortar right now. We're going Mortar drop, my friend. I don't even care anymore. Goblin's up high. Maybe that's a bit too aggressive. That's okay. We can finish off the battle round with the uh, Musketeer. What about the e Wizard here, please? Oh, we, do, do we go too aggressive? Was it worth it? We do get the Mortar Evolution unlocked. So is that worth it? I don't think it is. But I'm doing it anyways. Mortar Evolution at the bridge with a mighty miner. Oh, there's that P.E.K.K.A. drop. There's that P.E.K.K.A. drop. There's that juicy P.E.K.K.A. If we log this down left side. Uh, can the goblins build up? Can we do anything with the goblins here? Come on, my friend. Come on. Yes, we freeze. It's enough. But look at our tower left lane. Is this enough value to make it worth the while? I don't think it is. But you know what? I don't care. Goblin's going down. Come on. Come on. Hog Rider goes in. Is it enough damage? Does it make it worth it? Come on, Hogwarts. I need three shots. 
Oh, dude, we were way so aggressive and it didn't pay off. One more Moyer with another Mighty Miner. Let's force him into a defensive position. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I have nothing for this unless I do. Come on. Finish it, finish it off, please. Yes. No. The Firecracker Evolution. Oh, that hurt. So three wins for the Mortar Evolution puts us right in the middle of all of the evolved cards. And honestly, that was pretty consistent with the actual win rate for all of these evolved cards. So it seems like Firecracker and Royal Giant are currently the strongest. Subscribe for some more Clash Royale videos.